We are going to begin with breaking news in the Bronx. An argument between two NYCHA workers escalates into gunfire. Hi, News reporter Josh Eidinger live at the scene in the Kingsbridge section with the breaking news. Josh. And Bill, the crime scene itself is up on the third floor of this building here in the Ford Independence houses uh, here in the Kingsbridge section. Where we can show you video as police have been going in and out for the last couple of hours uh, trying to figure out what led to this confrontation. Uh, investigators are telling us just after 2 o'clock this afternoon, two NYCHA employees, a 43-year-old man who is a supervisor and a 46-year-old employee, got into an argument after the supervisor tried to write up the employee for doing something against the rules on the job. That's when cops say the employee pulled out a gun and shot the supervisor three times, once in the chest, once in the abdomen, and once in the leg, before then driving off in a Chevy Tahoe, a tan-colored uh, Chevy Tahoe SUV. Now, fortunately, the supervisor is expected to survive his injuries. Police have not released information, uh, the name, rather, uh, on the suspect they're looking for, but they do know his age. They clearly do know who they're looking for, and they are actively searching for him at this hour. Uh, they continue to work the crime scene here at the building, and when we learn more information on this, of course, I'll bring it to you. But the good news, of course, the shooting uh, yielded uh, a victim, a NYCHA supervisor, who is expected to survive his injuries.